Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily A7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the concentric and eccentric footing. I will try to explain the main difference between these two types of footing with the help of these figures. So first we explain the concentric footing. So in this type of footing, if we consider that this is in the column, and this is the footing provided for this column, which is the which looks like an isolated footing provided for this column. And this is the plan view of this footing. So when the load x on this footing, you can we can see here the load P is acting on this footing, on this column. And this column will distribute, will transfer this load into the footing. So when the centroid of the load, this load centroid coincides with the centroid of the footing we call is the concentric footing. So we can write it here when the centroid of load is equal to the or we can say it coincides with the centroid of footing. So this type of footing is called as the concentric footing because we can see here that this footing has a center here. This is the, the, the footing centroid is represented by the circle. So the load centroid, we can also see here, the load centroid is exactly on this center, on the circle. So the both their centroids coincide with one another. So we call this type of footing is the concentric footing. Similarly, if we look into the this plan section, so this will be the centroid. This is the centroid of this footing. And the load x exactly at this point. So when the centroid of load and centroid of footing coincides, this this footing, this type of footing will be called as concentric footing. And when the load x on such footing, let's suppose this is a P load acting on this type of and such type of footing, a isolated type of footing. So the in case of the concentric, the the pressure distribution of the side will be uniform because this load will be transferred to the footing isolated footing in, in this case so due to the concentric footing the load is exactly at the center of this footing so we will have a uniform distribution of the side pressure so in this case we will have a uniform soil pressure because the load exactly acts at the center of footing which distributed uniformly all the at all these points at all these at the surface of this footing due to which we will have a uniform soil pressure while if we look into the eccentric footing in this type of footing the centroid of the load is not coinciding with the centroid of the footing so how let's suppose this is in a load p this is in a load p is acting and this column and this column will transfer this load into the footing and we can see here that the footing centroid if we draw the x here and y here so this will be the centroid of this footing there is a footing and similarly this is a column so the centroid of this footing and we if we look into the centroid of this load which is here. So we have some eccentricity between these two centroids. This is represented by E. So E is called eccentricity and our centroid is not coinciding with one another. So we call such type of footing is the eccentric footing. So centroid of load is not coinciding or not equal to the centroid of footing. So due to this, we will have eccentricity creates in the footing. And we also have two types of the eccentric footing. One is called is the uh, uniaxial eccentric footing and one the other one is called is the biaxial eccentric footing. So the one is called is the uniaxial eccentric footing and the other one is called the biaxial by exit eccentric footing 
it means when we have when we have eccentricity only in x or y direction we call it the uniaxial because we have only eccentricity in one direction but if we have eccentricity in both the direction in x and y then we call such type of eccentric footing is the biaxial eccentric footing so these both are the types of the eccentric footing also if we look again into this um, such type of footing where the load you see here this is the centroid of the load while this is the while this is the centroid of the footing so we have eccentricity here so we have we have we call it the eccentric footing while in such type of footing if we look into the side distribution here so the more load is coming here due to which we have more pressure of soil you see here the load distribution is now different in this type of footing while in this case it was uniform and we have a rectangular type of distribution while in this case it is different and we have trapezoid of, trapezoidal type of side distribution so we can say here non-uniform soil pressure so we have non-uniform soil pressure because of the difference of their centroid because they are not coinciding and we have eccentricity due to which the more load is acting at this point at this portion of the footing and due to which the more pressure created in the soil due to which we have non-uniform soil pressure hope you guys understand the main difference between these two types of the columns where the main difference lies in their centroid the load centroid should coincide with the footing it will be called as concentric if it doesn't coincide we call it the eccentric footing for daily civil engineering videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching my video